What do you think about right here? Should we do it right here? It's like a good log. Hey, sit. Good boy. Oh boy. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, we're actually up here mushroom hunting along one of our favorite spots along Lake Ontario. We come hiking up here all the time. And it's a beautiful day. It's a little breezy. So I tried to get back from the shoreline a little bit. We're out here looking for some mushrooms to clone. Maybe we finally started getting some rain over the last week or two. So we'll see what we can find. But I figured this would be a good opportunity to introduce our next video. Because when we get back home, we're going to be heading down in the lab and uh, finishing up one of our experiments that uh, we've had going for a little while. So this experiment, I figured, had a pretty high chance of failure. But I wanted to try it anyway, and hopefully you guys will find it interesting, and it'll save you some time. And it's an experiment with Master's Mix. In case you're really new to mushroom cultivation, or you've been living in a cave or something, Master's Mix is 50% hardwood fuel pellets and 50% soy hull pellets. And it's a great substrate. It works great for growing a lot of different species of mushrooms. And uh, I wanted to see if I could use Master's Mix and get away with pasteurization. Now, the gospel on Master's Mix is you have to sterilize it. That's what I've always heard. That's what I've always told people. Uh, but I've never tried pasteurization myself, and I always wanted to try it. Uh, what I did is I tried a couple different percentages, I guess of mix. Now the true master's mix is 50-50, uh, but I wanted to try 50-50 and 75-25, so 75% hardwood fuel pellets, 25% soy hull pellets. So I tried both. I had some pink oyster spawn, grain spawn ready, and as always I like to experiment with oyster spawn when I can because if the oysters can't outrace the contamination then probably nothing can. So the results weren't totally unexpected. Uh, I figured this experiment would have a pretty high risk of failure, as I mentioned before. But uh, I think it was worth doing anyway. I've never been one to really like have someone tell me something won't work and just take it for gospel. I always like to try it out myself. So hopefully you guys find it interesting. I know I did. There's also some good lessons in the video on uh, sawdust block management in terms of moisture management. So we're going to get back in the woods. This guy's anxious to get mushroom hunting, so we're gonna get back walking, and uh, I'll jump back in when we're back home in the mushroom lab. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the mushroom lab. It is time to take a look at our master's mix bag. So they've been colonizing for around two, three weeks, not exactly sure, with our pink oyster spawn. And I'm a little bit surprised by the results. Uh, not totally surprised, but a little surprised. Uh, they're sitting on the table here right next to me. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll take a closer look at them. A couple of them are looking okay, not great. And the other two are headed to the compost bin. So let's flip the camera around and take a look. Okay, so I have all four bags sitting on the table here. These first two are our 75-25 mix. And the second two are our true master's mix, the true 50-50 blend. The moisture balance actually looks pretty good. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, let me know, but it looks okay to me. But what I'm seeing in these bags, so first of all, these 75-25s, they look okay. Uh, they're pretty much colonized. Uh, you can see on the bottom here, I have a little dark area, but it also has mycelium all around it. So that's the one thing with oysters. They're really good at eating contams and taking stuff out. So I think I got a little, you know, probably yeast or bacteria going on there. Don't think that's mold, uh, but the uh, oysters are taking it out. Same thing there at the bottom. So I think these 75-25 bags will fruit, although I'm definitely not super pleased with how they look one thing is i don't know if you guys can see it but the reason i have them laying this way is because they have a ton of uh metabolite one thing you can do you can see this one has it too uh one thing you can do and this also works if you go too wet with your substrate you get too much water in your substrate you see just a ton of condensation excess moisture on the inside of the bag uh you can sit them like this 
on your shelves instead of you know having them flip sitting upright you can just lay them on their side sometimes i'll even put a canning jar ring underneath them to prop this up and that'll run all the moisture away from them till they can get colonized once they're colonized you can just take some scissors and nip off a corner of this bag and pour all that moisture right out of there so typically when i see this much moisture metabolite being released from the block i know that these things are really fighting some contamination and with the masters mix here you can see in this corner this definitely has some bacteria going on in this corner here you can see there's no colonization in that area no mycelium and it is like traveling this way trying to trying to get in here and take this bacteria out but anytime you see a hard line like this uh, where the mycelium just kind of stops on a clean break there's like a clean delineation like that that tells you that it's definitely fighting some contams here this one is looking a little better but again we got an area here with no colonization at all that tells me there's some bacterial stuff going on there so the moral of the story is if you're going to go true 50 50 masters mix uh, you're going to have to do sterilization well it's just the way it is it's uh definitely you know i tried pasteurization i believe in my pasteurization technique it works really well super clean and we still got contamination to the point that you know i really don't have a lot of hope for these blocks so if you're going to go true 50 50 uh, you do have to sterilize it now i've always told people that but i've never tested it myself so now i have video evidence and personal experience we'll do some more experiments in the future hopefully uh you guys found this interesting and it saved you some time and we'll catch you next video